Okay guys, I want to give you guys a visual so you can see what the bike is doing. Uh, maybe that will kind of help help me with the troubleshooting issue. I know when it comes to uh, engines that smoke, it's, it's not easy to determine what the cause of oil is. But correct me if I'm wrong, but on uh, most engines, especially this particular, this GL 1200, there's only two ways that the oil can get into the combustion chamber, and that's through the uh, rings or valve seat. As far as I know, I, I don't believe that... Um, a uh, blown head gasket would allow in, uh, oil into the um, uh, cylinder. Now, I, I suppose it's possible, but considering where the oil flues are, uh, very unlikely. Uh, but again, like I said, it's, pro it's possible. But uh, I've already read of a couple of cases uh, where somebody thought the same thing. They thought their head gasket was blown, so they changed it, and it's still uh, getting oil into the exhaust. Now, what's interesting is uh, I did check all four spark plugs, and it's coming from number one. Number one seems to be the one to keep uh, turning dark but it's not wet and that's the part that's baffling me because you would think that if, if, if that much oil was getting into the cylinder the spark plug would be soaking wet and it's not unless it's being burnt I don't know well of course it is being burnt but um, if it's wet coming out of the exhaust it should be wet on the plug and it's not so somehow uh, oil is getting into the uh, exhaust and it's it's only the right side it's not the left I've already verified that um, so oil is seeping down the right exhaust manifold and building up in the collector and causing it to smoke on both pipes that are coming out. So anyhow, I'm going to start it up. By the way, I got the carbs all synced up and everything. Uh, the oil level still seems to be pretty much at the mark where I uh, serviced it. So let's fire this bad boy up. Now it's going to take a few. I'm not going to make you sit there and watch the whole time. So I'll edit the video when it starts to smoke. It takes about three to ten minutes. So here we go. Uh, by the way, I wanted to throw this at you. You can see that my coolant level is right where it's supposed to be. It has not changed. It'll go up as the engine warms up, and when it cools back down, it drops right back to that upper level mark. So it's not burning any freeze. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to smoke now. It's been about uh, six minutes, and this is just the start of it. Uh, I know you can see it better if it was during the daytime. I don't know why my light's not on. It should be on. Let me see if I can get my light to turn on real quick. Okay, I got my light on, and uh, you can see droplets in the, hitting on the ground right there. That's not that's not water, by the way. That's oil. There's the smoke, and that's not heavy yet. If I was to take it down the road, both pipes would start smoking really, really bad. Real bad. This is only about probably 30% of what actually comes out. Grab the motor up. That's a lot of smoke. And it's much, much worse when I go down the road. If I let this run for about another 10 minutes, it'll get even worse. So I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the bike off. Let it cool off a little bit. All right, and uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to pull the number one spark plug off and let you guys take a look at that. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, uh, I just cleaned it off earlier, about a couple hours ago, and the tip of that was perfectly clean. And now you can see it's got soot built up on it, uh, built up on it again. But what's interesting? is that uh, it's not wet. And let me, I think my, my light might be a little too bright. 
Let me shut my light off. Well, you can't really see it in the dark, but uh, did you see how all that all that black soot that's built up on there? That uh, that plug didn't look like that uh, a couple hours ago after I cleaned it up. So this is the first time I've ran it since I cleaned the start spark plug, and you can already see that it's it's caked <laughs> with oil. <laughs> so for some reason, cylinder number one is burning oil, and uh, I'd like to think it's probably because of the rings. Keep in mind that this is the one, this is cylinder number one, this was the one that had a leaky carburetor when the bike sat for years that dumped uh, fuel down the uh, intake manifold, uh, this intake port right there, and went into the combustion chamber and filled up the crankcase after it leaked through the rings. So uh, I suppose I, I need to get some sort of scope in there, <laughs> but uh, my guess it's the rings or uh, I, I don't know. I doubt it's a head gasket. That, that just doesn't seem possible to me. I don't see how oil can get into the combustion chamber. Uh, maybe, well, I suppose it is possible. I don't know. But I've, I've never heard of that happening. Usually when a head gasket blows, uh, you might leak oil on the outside part. And um, I don't know. So rings, valve seats maybe. But as it's, it's, it's bad as it smokes, I don't think it's the valve seats. I think it's the rings. So tell me what you guys think. Give me some good news if you can. <laughs> so long, folks.